In the heart of the Brazilian wilderness lies a prehistoric rock shelter, decorated with thousands of strange paintings. South American archaeologists are finding unusual human remains. The skulls aren't European, but they aren't American Indian either. They belong to none of the prehistoric races known to have set foot in the New World. These skulls are as old as the Ice Age. So who were these first people to discover the Americas? And what became of them? Did they all disappear? Or did some of them survive? Indians, in fact, had been in America for thousands of years. Scientists today can tell precisely when they arrived and from where. All native peoples in South and North America belong to a racial type known as Mongoloid. They're descended from the ancient peoples of Siberia. During the Ice Age, 12,000 years ago, there was a land bridge between Siberia and Alaska. Mongoloid peoples were the first to enter the New World, or so experts thought. The Brazilian finds point to a very different story of the discovery of the Americas. The paintings on these rock shelters are much older than the Indians. Here, hunters chase giant armadillos, an animal that flourished during the Ice Age, long before the arrival of the Indians. But if people had been here before the American Indians, surely there would be other traces of their presence. The archaeologists continued to dig, down to depths 50,000 years old. And then they found this. Fragments of animal bone and charcoal. For Anne-Marie Passy, one of the archaeologists involved in the dig, these fragments were proof of human occupation. We found structures shaped like hearths. Next to the charcoal, depending on the period, we sometimes found food leftovers of animals they may have eaten. The Brazilian finds show that the New World was discovered tens of thousands of years earlier than previously believed, certainly well before the time of the American Indians. But who were these pioneers? A much earlier wave of mongoloids or another race altogether? Clues to the identity of the first Americans are emerging in rock shelters in the northeast and southeast of Brazil. Archaeologists there have recently unearthed human remains. Prehistoric skulls were found buried in layers of soil 9 to 12,000 years old.
they are the oldest skulls in the Americas. And this is the oldest of them all. The skull of a young woman nicknamed Luthia by scientists. Can she tell us who the first Americans were? Walter Nevis is a physical anthropologist at Sao Paulo University in Brazil. He has been using a standard and reliable archaeological measure, the shape of the skull, to find out what race she belonged to. He fully expected Luthia to be a mongoloid, an ancestor of the American Indians. But then he fed the measurements into the computer. When we start running the computer and uh, seeing the results, uh, it was amazing because we realized that uh, uh, the statistics, the quantitative analysis we were doing was not showing just people to be mongoloid. In fact, the analysis was showing these people was anything except mongoloid. So who was Luthia? And where did she come from? To find out, the skull was taken to a hospital in Rio de Janeiro to begin the process of reconstructing her face. The first stage was to make a three-dimensional CAT scan of Luthia's skull in order to build a replica. was then given to Richard Neve of the University of Manchester in England, one of the world's leading forensic artists, to recreate her features. To me, it's a Negroid face that has all the features that you associate with a Negroid face. The um, proportions of the face, it doesn't say anything about it being a mongoloid. Was this then the face of a first American? Her reconstruction is confirmed by measurements Walter Nevis has taken of all his skulls. The first reaction uh, was not to believe in it, but as the results, you know, repeated, repeated, repeated so many times, and the result is exactly the same thing. They are very similar to nowadays Aborigines and Africans, and no similarity at all with Mongoloids in Asia or with American Indians. When I was reading to prepare for this interview, I was quite surprised to see you use the word Aborigines talking about African-Americans. 